Hi, this is Anna. Welcome back to my channel. Uh, before I show you this journal, I want to uh, remind you that I have giveaway going on and I'm going to link it below so you can check it out if you want to participate. Um, this journal is a um, trashy uh, junk journal that I finally finished. And the cover is right here, then the papers kind of stick out. So the way it is right now, it's nine and a half by six and a half by two. And it's uh, completely full, but it has the ability to grow even more if you add your own things. So for easy closure, I have this elastic here, elastic lace with stamped ribbon that says this book belongs to. So it's very easy to close it and keep it closed. Um, this is one of my trashy paper dolls. I also have a tutorial for that so I can link it as well if you want to um, see how to make this doll. I just added shoes with pom-poms, really cute. This is my trim, uh, sari silk trim from India. I was also showing this trim in my videos, one of my videos. Um, then here on Tim Holtz clip I have pom-pom that I made and I also have video to show how I make these pom-poms. I'm going to link that too. And I also made little baggie for, the, for, this, for this girl here. I made this baggie with um, also with the sari silk trim and it ties with a ribbon. And then inside are all the things that uh, that the girl needs, which is uh, beads, beads, cute beads, uh, buttons, paper clips, little applique rows, more paper clips, beads, more beads. Um, cupcake so this is all in the bag so let me put this back in and close the bag so it just ties as you can see with this ribbon so I'm going to put it back on the journal so easily uh, detaches from the journal so you don't have to have it on and then this book is made with um, really anything I could find uh, because I wanted this journal to be very made with uh, things that most people wouldn't even use in a journal. So here's a candy chocolate box right here. And then the papers stick out as you can see with some trims. Uh, what else? So that's the box I also used to, to hold the signatures together. I have um, duct tape that I was also showing in one of my whole videos. So here I made a packet. So there is some uh, ephemera in here. And there's also a packet here if you wanted to put something this way. So that's, you could even put this, uh, probably both ways like this and like that unless it doesn't work for some reason so you can try later on let me see if I'm in the center so here as you can see really stuff that you would normally toss this is I believe from grapes grape box and all sorts of tags with trims different trims um, tags that you can embellish with your own things so that's a belly band right here and here's more of that um, trim sorry silk trim it's a sticker here so I you can definitely cover pages like that that you cannot journal on or you can leave them because they're really pretty this you could definitely cover then here I have some prints with some more um, 
sari silk beautiful with uh, gemstones and sequins. So there's some uh, journaling space. I mean, there's a lot of journaling space, but there's also a lot of space to be creative if you want to cover these pages. So see here, for example, is uh, um, the paper that comes with, I guess, some paper that I purchased. I'm not sure what this is. And then scrapbooking paper, uh, book pages, extra embellishments this definitely you could that was from some cardstock so you could definitely cover that with something but here on this side you have beautiful uh, flowers then again some really I was not trying to be matching or anything with this journal I love everything about this like I love everything about this journal <laughs> <laughs> so that goes in here and here again as you can see I used one of these um, I guess it's from further apart from this piece here so really magazine or whatever you have but the images are kind of pretty so this is why I have it here then again some more Sari silk with uh, gemstones and tea uh, boxes. This is a belly band. I was tempted to um, embellish this, but I didn't. So here are this library card. Then just extra. I didn't even cut it. I just left it the way it is because it looks pretty and messy a little bit. So here's another tag <clears throat> and here with some mesh double-sided paper on this tag. So very, very different papers. Anything I could find that would really not match. Then this is from AC Filters. I always keep this paper, so it looks so pretty. Here's another belly band. So I was thinking to add this here on front would look pretty, but I'm leaving it up to you. And here's one of these tags and then this thing. So it's really everything. Then here again, you have some flowers, trim with sequins and um, shiny tag. And here on this side, I have, this is a paper bag bottom that I made into a tuck spot. So there's a journaling card in here and buttons. You can use these buttons somewhere. Then here is a couple pieces of paper, double tuck spot. This one says places I want to visit. And again, cute image from cooking, baking book. This flips. That's a stamp here and beautiful book page. So you see the pages kind of are off and uh, not trimmed uh, straight. That was the purpose of this. More trim. So there's, I included a lot of trims as you can see and hard because it kind of looks pretty when you look at it here. So here are some like crafting projects ideas let's print here i have this trim again really pretty really really pretty you can see all the detail in it so then this is the last page here so here is more stuff from you can see fruit containers and tea bags 
and more uh, uh, duct tape. This again is a really pretty image. Here is a note card with more uh, trim. This is from chocolates. This again, this paper underneath is um, some packaging from some paper. And then this is glued down, this ephemera here. And then Victoria's Secret reward card that wasn't used. This super cool paper from, it's from Dollar Tree, but it's um, sturdy paper, but it's so pretty. And then extra notes in here. Book page, this is paper bag with stuff. Today's top priorities. <clears throat> I love these. Li Lily of the Valley. I love these flowers. This is such a cool page. I love this page. And I see extras. Again, trim with some beads on both sides. Premium cardstock, that's what it was. Uh, fabric on this page. This is just some extra ephemera I had. That's the greedy card. That's from a magazine or something. But just pretty colors. That's an envelope. Extra paper. More tea bags. And this is really soft. Uh, that's one of those trims, sorry, silk trims. And then on this side is beautiful fabric. I can see that it's double-sided. I thought it, was, it would be just showing on one side. Some vintage pages and uh, newer pages, cardstock botanical pages this again is from some multi multi-purpose poster board I don't even know when I got that but I keep all the paper so now you see it this is border this is vintage wallpaper so you see there's pretty much everything in this journal and this is from a planner Oh, this is pretty too. This is uh, fabric. And then this is some craft books too. That's again a tea bag. Cool paper from Dollar Tree. Just a flip, so I use different colors uh, of the duct tape. I was showing it in one of my hauls. This is uh, heart and uh, flower on top. This is when I was decoupaging a napkin and it didn't come out right. And I still kept this piece of paper as you can see, but it's good quality paper, so you can definitely write on that. I always keep all these all these things because how pretty is that and then you can definitely cover that if you don't want it <clears throat> that's a die cut negative and one thing i forgot to mention is that i also have beads at the bottom here just beads that would uh, fit with all the strings. I'm not showing the right. Let me see. They're just at the bottom of each 
kind of signature. I kind of have five signatures in here. I don't know if you can tell or not. Um, let me see. So see, this is from... Uh, from plain... Um, what is it called? Baggage... Baggage tag. And this is the other side of the birthday card from the store. So it's just ephemera with um, fabric. And you can, of course, journal on this. And then on this side, I have another tuck spot here and here. That's again from some container. Absolutely love making these journals um, trim. This trim adds so much color and uh, texture and it's all embroidered. And that is that decoupage napkin that I, I've, I've had this paper probably for five years or more <laughs> in my stash. And look, finally found its uh, journal. And here is purple color duct tape and another tag. And here's the same thing, double tuck spot on both sides. So I didn't want to make any other closure other than this. So here you have all the beads in there. And here you have the side of it. So different. I haven't made this style before. It was just uh, something I came up with and I really like the way it looks. Let me know what you think. If you like this journal, it's a little different. I, from time to time, I mean, I always like to switch. I cannot work on the same style journal, journal for a long time. I like to uh, be creative with other things, like for example, something like this. And plus my uh, trashy paper doll looks perfect on this journal. So that's what I think. Let me know what you think of this journal, if you like it or not. I appreciate any comment and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.